Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy. Today's video, we got an amazing one on our hands. Today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys a noob friendly. Noob friendly? That's you, Farfa. I'm talking to you, buddy. I'm talking to you. Noob friendly. Noob friendly pendulum FTK. So whether you don't know anything about pendulums, whether you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh, whether you don't know anything, you could just put a period over there and you're an idiot. It's okay. This is a dummy friendly for noobs for dummies pendulum first turn kill Yu-Gi-Oh first turn kill 100% success rate if you guys are ready for this video i want you guys to smash the subscribe button i want you guys to smash the like button and we are almost at 60 000 subscribers i really really want 60 000 subscribers so can you please smash that subscribe button boys also make sure to go check out the links down below for patreon on patreon we got daily pendulum training daily videos on cool combos like this and check out the play mats because we got some awesome ones out there anyways let's get started guys let's get started right now let's get started on the pendulum first turn kill i'm going slow mo the entire way i'll show the deck less of that so stay tuned to the very end of the video let's get started all right so this is just a basic hand that we're going to be doing this combo with and i'm going to be going very 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 slow mo for all of you so you guys look at all my hand all you need to do this ftk is very simple it's six monsters baby that's all you need now if you open an extender like curtain razor it becomes insanely easy to ftk but i have videos on my patreon explaining what happens when you don't open a curtain razor also when you open wisdom eye it you still have the same thing because you pendulum wisdom eye from your extra deck and five monsters to the monster zone so it's the same thing you don't need curtain razor you don't need astrograph you don't like you're fine so here all we're doing is just we're, we're using draw cards to get our hand less curtain razor is the reason you play this for those who don't understand is you want to always try to make electromite before your pen summon if you open Cur abyss actor curtain razor or if you open your astrograph sorcerer you could easily make electromite before your pen summon and that is makes it so you could pendulum summon underneath electromite zones so we're going to do first things first if you open curtain razor duelist out there you always bring it out and then normal summon whatever does not conflict with your scales so if you guys look at the scales i should probably say i assume that if you're watching this video you at least know how to pendulum summon but if you don't know how to pendulum summon I am also going to mention that here. So we look at our scales. We have Performable Pendulum Sorcerer scale 2. Harmonizing Magician is scale 8. My entire deck is level 4s and level 7s, which means the scales that I want here are between those levels. So if Performable Pendulum Sorcerer scale 2 and Harmonizing Magician is scale 8, what that implies is that once per turn, in the same way that you have a normal summon once per turn, you're able to Pendulum Summon once per turn, similar to normal summoning. But what Pendulum Summons entail is that it allows you to summon monsters from your hand or extra deck up to the level in between the scales. So since the scales are two and eight i'm allowed to special summon from level three four five six and seven once per turn in the same way that you normal summon and i can summon as much as i want but it has to be at the exact same time and only once and i'm going to show now what it means to summon from your extra deck so here we're going to link summon into heavy metal force electromite this is the most broken card in Yu-Gi-Oh history i love this card and now what we're going to do here is what you want to send with Electromite 99% of the time is Astrograph Sorcerer. What Astrograph Sorcerer is going to allow you to do is get some extra plus here. What it does is use Electromite, pop any card you don't want, you special summon the Astrograph, and the Astrograph is going to add any card that got destroyed. So you just get back the exact same card, but you get a free monster on the field for nothing, and then you get the free draw from Electromite. So what we're doing here is we're gaining value for nothing before we go into our Pendulum FTK. At this point, we're at, we're at four summons, okay? So my next play here, I'm going to go into Selene. Uh, always going to Selene, okay? Right after you go Electromite and Astrograph, before you pen summon, you always go to Celine. This is the Pendulum FTK. Look, I'm going very slow for you guys here. We have scales. We have remember the original scales. We had two and eight. Well, we got two more two and eight. So now we have two low scale low scales and two high scales. All right. The next goal, once you have low scales and high scales, and once you use Electrum, and once you resolve Astrograph Sorcerer, now you want to make Appaloosa because you do not want to lose to Nibiru. You know that big rock thing that comes down and destroys you. You don't want to lose to that. So the next play here is you want to. I know this is for noobs, but get good if you don't know how to do this. Pay close attention. What I'm going to teach you, I'm going to bring you through five years of academy training in the next five seconds look very closely okay the toggle button shows four summons the second or fifth summon is made the toggle button will show instantly it'll show like a flash Sim for Duel Links players this is like the hourglass it'll show a flash if the flash comes up right away in the fifth summon and nothing else before that means he has nibiru so i summon Celine right over here what Celine does it allows me to special a spellcaster from my hand or grave so I, the second i summon Celine, nothing came up nothing came up from the nibiru toggle so instantly i know he doesn't have nibiru 
just in case i'm gonna run a second mission because i do not the last thing i want him to do is nibiru my pendulum summon so if you're, you're ever getting nibiru on your pendulum summon it's because you're not playing it correctly what i'm gonna do now at this point is i'm gonna use selene to summon any monster from my hand or graveyard if you have but i didn't have any in my grave at this point this is my second test for nibiru the toggle still did not go off uh, uh, for the pendulum sorcerer at this point i know for an absolute fact he doesn't have nibiru for an absolute fact also because this scares him into appalooza what i do here regardless is appalooza we're gonna link this appalooza later don't worry about it uh so here we're gonna pendulum summon our entire your hand out our extra deck in hand what harmonizing magician does is spot summons one from the extra deck so now we have four mon five monsters let's say we have six monsters we went through the valor test we went through the ash test we went through the nibiru test and there's no hand traps to stop this if they max c we don't care we don't care even nibiru we don't care in fact i have a video which i'll be posting two days from now where my opponent drew max c and he drew nibiru we pulled off the ftk through both this is unstoppable this is an unstoppable ftk truly unstoppable ftk there's no hand trap in Yu-Gi-Oh to save them what's coming at this point we played through every Everything. now the ftk like my good friend dano says is inevitable so first thing we go we take two we take two of the monsters and go into starving venom all this card requires is two dark pendulums so we take two dark pendulum monsters and make two starving venom dragons next we already know nothing could be stopped here because we just played through every hand trap so now since we know he has no nibiru we know he doesn't have valor we know he doesn't have ash and you can't hide these things even if you toggle off which idiot in the world is going to toggle off a of valor on a normal summon pendulum like all normal joker all normal no one's toggling valor off okay no one one. and nibiru you cannot toggle off against this because we'll put up appalooza so at this point we know there's nothing so we're going to take the last two monsters even appalooza we don't need it at this point because we already went through the toggles shout out toggles this is not possible in tcg this is only possible in master duel we went off all the toggles we went off everything and they can't if they say they can't save a valor because they don't know you're playing a pendulum ftk if they see electromite or joker anyone with a brain would realize you gotta you gotta hand trap that electromite so now that we got the verde anaconda we are gonna activate verde anaconda's effect to bring an instant fusion now if you don't know what any of these cards are in the deck profile at the very end of the video i'll be going through each of their names so don't worry about it so here at this point we got the the fusion card what this card does is you burn for 500 per its level this is where the ftk comes now we played through every hand trap he doesn't he, even if you had any it didn't matter now we use each of the starving venoms what their levels are what their effects are it copies one monster in the field or graveyard so we copy the Lyrless nightingale which li nightingale's effect is whatever its level is you multiply by 500 that's how much damage you do so since its level is eight it is eight times 500 which is four thousand and since we made two of them it's 8,000 bird damage. We're going to copy the effect. We're going to copy the effect. 4,000, 4,000, straight to the dome. GG. Played through every hand trap. Now, if you guys got this far, you guys you guys need to smash the subscribe button, baby. We're almost at 60K. And if something else, if anything in the world is going to get us 60K, it'll be the most beautiful after King of the Universe first turn kill, baby. So now I'm going to show you guys the deck profile. This is the deck profile. Absolutely incredible, man. I love this deck. And going first or going second doesn't matter. I have multiple videos on my Patreon showing what it does going second. But this is just a basic for dummies video for new players, for doings players, for farfas. You know, just just so you guys can actually learn the basic the basics of this combo. I'm gonna go through the names now because I know there's a lot of new players. And in my first video I made of this FTK, a lot of players were asking for the actual names. So I'm gonna go through each of the cards in this deck just so you guys could see what their names are. So we got one Dragon Pit Magician. We got three Perform Pal Pendulum Sorcerers. Three Wisdom Mind Magicians. If you don't know how to spell them, they'll be in the top left. Three Perform Pal Skullcrabat Jokers. Two Harmonizing Magicians. One Double Iris. Two Black Fang magicians instantly you're gonna see this say why are you playing this well the reasoning behind double black and double purple poison is this deck really spams astrograph sorcerer the game plan is very simple your first play you ever make in this deck is you always make electromites the first stop in the game plan want to know what made me fame uh, made me big on youtube guys right here it says stick to the game plan. This is my very first tattoo because it symbolizes my entire YouTube channel, which is what I based when I had three Electromite. I said the game plan was making three Electromite. It was a very simple game plan. You make one Electromite, you make a second Electromite, then you make a third Electromite. And by doing so, you fix your hand no matter how bad it is, and you have an insane combo at the end. So the game plan here is very simple. You make one Electromite, you, and you literally send Astrograph, and you literally plus off Astrograph. And then right after that Electromite and Astrograph, you go into Selene. Right after that Selene, you go into that Palooza. You're not protected from all hand traps. The Electromite made sure you have scales and then you pendulum summon uh, three cards underneath the appalooza link zones and the harmonizing magician from hand always resulting in a massive board in this scenario an ftk going second otk them so it's nice having two black fang and two pearl poison for astrograph to be able to search one or the other when it pops them also they're all good really good going second uh three curtain razor it's amazing one celestial is all you need three oaf dragon is the best low scale by a landslide instant fusion for the ftk oh, i should go through the names my bad black fang magician pearl poison magician Cur abyss actor curtain razor perform boss 
Celestial Magician, Ove Dragon Magician, Ascar Sorcerer, Instant Fusion, uh, 3 Allure of Darkness, Insane Draw Power, 3 Into the Void. Do not play Upstart in the FTK because it does 8,500 damage. If you Upstart them, they'll be at 9,000. Into the Void, your hand does not matter. You FK their ass. And going second, you should not have a hand going second. If you have a hand going second, you already win the duel because that means their entire board is gone. You should be committing your entire hand to breaking the board going second for Into the Void. And for going first, you're FTKing, so it's irrelevant. 3 Pen Call, 3 Duelist Alliance, as Pendulum Call, 1 Star Pendulum Graph, and 1 Time Pendulum Graph. Now, as for the extra deck, we have Lyrilusk Independent Nightingale. This is the FTK card. We have Autized Vortex Dragon. We have Supreme King Starving Venom. We have Soborolode Savage Dragon. We have Supreme King Dragon Re Dark Rebellion. This is very good for OTKing. Baguska, number 41 Baguska. This is the best backup to Maxi. Absol Autized Absolute Dragon. Number 30 38 Hope Harbinger. This is a backup. So if you don't have access to the FTK, what you do is you go Starving Venom, Starving Venom, uh, copying Electromite's effect, uh, uh, loop Electromite three times. And then you're left with two Supreme King Starving venoms that can go into hope harbinger after that you go into electromite then you go you, you have verte anaconda prepared upon verte anaconda you have nightmare unicorn you have Celine, queen of the master magicians you have Apalooza, uh apollo usa shout out decade and access code talker so that is the deck main deck and extra deck and the and the whole combo so if you guys like what you see this video was a pendulum fdk for dummies it's very basic very simple if you have more questions make sure to check out the streams check out the patreon you'll learn everything you need to know hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace